In this video, I will show you how to easily set up a graphic organizer activity or assignment for your students in Google Classroom. And here I am in my Google Classroom account. I'll just go into Spanish 2 and I'll just go to the classwork page and click create. And I could create this graphic organizer activity as an assignment, and that's what I'm going to do in this case. Or I could create it as part of a quiz or a material, but let's just stick to assignment in this case. And I want to call this assignment Compare and Contrast Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. I can put in some instructions, and then at this point, I could create my graphic organizer assignment just by clicking here on Create Drawings. It opens up a new Google drawing, and from here I could design from scratch my own graphic organizer. I could right click on the background and select a different background color. I could click insert and then go to shapes to create, let's say, a Venn diagram. I'm dragging out a circle, at least it's supposed to be a circle. If I hold the shift key on the keyboard and drag, it should make it a perfect circle. And then I could click insert again to put in another circle for my Venn diagram or just select the one I have now, copy it with control C or command C on a Mac and then paste control V or command V on a Mac. I could make the two shapes overlap. I could select one of the circles and make the fill transparent. And that fast, I have a simple graphic organizer. I could also insert a text box to explain that this is Don Quixote. I could center that and I could just copy paste to create another text box and I could mark this as Sancho Panza. I could then name my graphic organizer and I may want to select everything that I've created just by clicking and dragging around all of it and then go up here to arrange and group. So that will keep this all together as one group and then the students will be able to insert text boxes and type in information and then drag that information to the proper place in the Venn diagram. So this is definitely one way to create a graphic organizer in Google Classroom. In a minute, I'll show you an even easier way to do it. But first, I'm going to X out of this Venn diagram and go back to my assignment. You can see it says it's untitled, but that will update with my newly created title. But this drop down here is very important. The way it's set up right now, my students will be able to view the file, but that's it. If I click this button, I can change it so that students can edit the file, but in that case, all of my students would be able to edit the same file. So the best option for graphic organizers is typically this, unless you want it to be a group activity or a whole class activity, then this might be the best option. But in my case, I'm going to choose to make a copy for each student. As always, with assignments in Google Classroom, I can decide who gets this assignment, what class or classes get the assignment, how many points it's worth, what the due date will be, and I could assign it to a topic. Also, I could create a rubric. If you want to learn all about these grading options, check out my other Google Classroom tutorials. But in this case, I'll just click Assign. Now, like I said, there is actually an easier way to do the same kind of thing. What you could do instead of creating your graphic organizer from scratch is simply go to one of these websites. I have three of them that I recommend, but there are many more out there in addition to these three. So here's one from ditchthattextbook.com, and I'll put the links to these three websites in the description below the video. This particular site has 25 free Google Drawings graphic organizers, and you can browse down to see them. They have their own style of Venn diagram, They've got a KWL chart, which is very useful, cause and effect chain, a fishbone planner, flow chart, many of the typical graphic organizers that teachers use with students all the time are listed here. Here's another example of a website that has Google Drawing graphic organizers and other templates. There's a Freyer model template, prediction chart template, problem solution template. They even have them broken down by subject area. So we have some templates, and some of these are graphic organizers for social studies, math, science, language arts, and so forth. You can see a glimpse of what those templates look like here at the bottom of the page. And then my third recommendation is this website, Control-Alt-Achieve. And here we have, again, many different graphic organizers, pre-created, they look great, and are very useful. In the case of these Control-Alt-Achieve graphic organizers, there's actually a link that's been created, and if you go to that link, 
copy paste it in or just click on it, it will bring all of those graphic organizer templates into your own Google Drive account so that you can see them. If you want to keep those accessible for you, you can just click here at the top where it says templates and choose add shortcut to drive and you can organize that shortcut however you want to. So I'll add mine to classroom and I'll just click add shortcut. So now I have a folder in my classroom folder and it's a link to all of these graphic organizer templates that I got from control alt achieve. So let's say I want my students to use one of these graphic organizers. I could just click Google drawing template or in this case I could click on the actual template to load it up and then click use template or in the case of this website either find it here or go to my shortcut inside of my own Google Drive and that's what I'll do in this case I'll just double click on one that I want to use and in this case there's not a template button to click instead I'll go to file make a copy and this will create an editable copy of this graphic organizer activity okay so I've renamed it I'll click OK and it's going to pull it into my own Google Drive but this is my own copy of the activity and at this point I could adjust it because it is now my own copy and now at this point now that I've identified the graphic organizer I want my students to use and I've adjusted it I've edited it I can now close out of the graphic organizer and go back into my Google Classroom account I'll create a new assignment I'll call this one sort activity again I should put some instructions but this time because I simply identified a template and then adjusted it I don't have to click on create all I have to do is go here to add and then select Google Drive and it will allow me to pull the document that's already in my Google Drive here it is and I can pull that right into this graphic organizer assignment that I'm creating so with it selected I'll click insert there it is I want students to each have their own copy and as usual I could adjust some of these settings here I'll just go ahead and click assign and then switching over to my student account I can go into that same class go to the classwork tab there at the bottom is the sort activity this student's copy of the graphic organizer assignment already has his name on it he can just click there and start sorting the shapes into the boxes like I showed earlier if the student needs to add text he can by clicking insert text box just drawing out a text box and typing also if you want your students to be able to insert images there's a great way to do that right from within Google drawings the students can click here on insert image they could upload from the computer or search the web they can do a search for something that's azul in this case click and drag to drop the image into their graphic organizer it does take a couple of seconds to actually pull it in then the student can resize the image if need be to put it where they want it to be one little trick that you could teach your students about this is whenever searching for images if they don't want there to be a background around the image instead of just searching for blue car in this case they can search for blue car PNG now this doesn't work 100% of the time but it often will allow students to be able to click and drag and get an image with no background and that often looks better in an activity such as this one when the student is done with the assignment he can go ahead and close out of the Google drawing and back in Google classroom he can go here to the assignment view the assignment he could put in comments if he wants to and just to verify that the work was saved I'm going to click on it to open it up and you can see that the students work is all there so now we can click turn in turn in and that assignment has been submitted to the teacher back in the teacher account I can go down and click on sort activity and I can see that one person has turned in his work there's Jason's assignment and I can look at it and grade it so I hope this video has been helpful to learn how to create and import graphic organizers into Google Classroom I hope you found the video to be helpful if you did please like follow and subscribe and when you do please click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video if you'd like to support my channel you can do that through my patreon account and you'll see a link to that in the description below